Do you know when you're possessed? Do they know? Does the host know? You know, I... I don't want to, I don't really know. I know for me, when I had that incident where I did have an infestation, I did have oppression. Um, and it, it was really bad. And because I do have psychic abilities, you know, I was able to go into my dream world and see exactly what was going on. And you just keep answering with more things I want to ask questions about. <laughs> okay. All right. So. <laughs> Your experience, uh, in a okay. <laughs> your experience in oppression, how freaky was that? Because that almost to me sounds like the scariest part. Because if if an invisible man is making pottery with me, I'm freaking out. I'm <laughs> you and your ghost references. That's the only pop show. culture reference right there. <laughs> we have I mean, got you know, to ghosts? get you watching more shows. Laura wants me to watch the Hill House show and the Bly Manor show. Oh, Bly Manor, I love it. I'm that one was good. Person. I hated how it ended, though. I've been I, watching I've been the boys. I haven't finished it yet. I'm watching yeah. it with my mom. I've been watching the boys lots. lately, and that one I like. We have lots on our uh, DVR and stuff that we're kind of saving for, you know, after surgery when I'll be stuck here at the house and she's watching me. That's so. a great we, idea. We haven't finished out one under yet. We have like ten episodes. Those watch. It's really that's depressing. a great idea. Yeah. Give you something to look forward to anyway. Oh, oh yeah. And I even Ryan, I'm like, you're coming over. We're gonna watch some like really old stuff. I found this movie where the lady gets bit by uh what is it? It's like a Siberian Tibetan monkey, rat monkey, and then she she dies and the son's like trying to take care of her. It's like nineteen ninety two, it's really old. Or Swamp Thing, that's another one. Swamp Thing. We're totally mm-hmm. off the subject, but you know, gotta love those classics there from the eighties and nineties. Oh, some some of that time though, you can't get back. It's My the... mom used to pick movies. <laughs> I I can't get that time back. That was torture. What was some that of show those she are... always got, Betsy? That one, the insane the... clown one from outer space no. or something. <laughs> oh, clowns from outer space. Outer yeah, space. Oh, clowns that's... from outer space. Yeah, yeah. No, with that... the popcorn, and they were like, <laughs> I remember that one. No, what was the one with the girl that was wearing like the lace? big old doily thing and walking around um rock and roll no was it rock and roll nightmare it was rock and roll nightmare oh, oh man it was, it was you awful. don't Best <laughs> forget you ever. heard it mom would it's rent painful it. mom would rent it and and it was made on a i i'm telling you the budget was 85 bucks if it was 100 and <laughs> and the girl the monster, the bad thing, was like a ten-year-old girl that they was way out with the camera, like the next state over, <laughs> so that she looked bigger and scarier than she was. And she just walked her. It was all filmed in just one house. It was horrible. Yeah, forget had, you ever heard it. Had a great forget soundtrack it. though. Had Iron Maiden and everything. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> so, awesome. Awesome. all right. So I want to go. I, I want to come back to. Uh, the oppression stage. Yeah. When you were you had a you had an infestation yourself, Sarah. So, um, when I nearly died, I don't know if people can see this. I'll try to stand up a little bit Ugh, here. So right here, I had um open heart surgery. I had two blood clots inside my right ventricle at the same time. And I uh, was coming off of major drugs and some people say, hey, it was just the major drugs that paid an issue with that because, you know, you are on some major pain meds. But this is like three, four months down the road and I had PTSD from coming off the respirator. And um, or, yeah, was it a respirator? Yeah, okay. So <laughs> I had all this stuff going on. And you know, and I, we talked about this a little before it started with I tried to go to sleep. I was in my grandma's room upstairs and I, hear music and it sounded like old 80s like John Mellon camp or um oh gosh John Bon Jovi kind of stuff and I would hear this and it wasn't loud enough to where you could make out the words but you could hear it and I was like what in the world is going on and so I you're hearing, everywhere for this music so you're Just hearing music mm-hmm. you're hearing John Mellon camp playing and that's your that's that's your introduction to being uh, <laughs> it was I mean you know which isn't the worst thing 
No, um, no. <laughs> Did you but recognize it, got, it right away? I just thought I was going kind of crazy, actually, because I was just like, you know, I, I constantly hear things anyways. Like, I'll hear some people just like, like, hey, how are you doing? <laughs> and you can't really make it out, but you're like, what? Like, it, it's like being in a crowded restaurant. And so I have to learn sometimes to dial that in to see what it is I'm hearing. And I still haven't got it down. This is still very new to me. Um, but that's kind of what it really, really reminds me of is just a crowded restaurant. And it's been that way since I was a little kid. So I just assumed it was part of that, to be honest. And I just went everywhere looking, you know, we have a two story home. I looked everywhere. I see if my neighbor, you know, across the way was playing his bad Amazon playlist that he usually has going. That wasn't on the neighbors didn't have anything going. And it was all times it was, you know, during the day, it was at nighttime. And I just could not narrow down where this music was coming from. So um, did it move from that to a, a, the oppressive where it started getting physical with uh, you? It wasn't so much physical as it was that they learned that they could invade my dreams. And so I would be having these lucid dreams where I would be on the same plane where I could see them. I mean, I literally, you know, was out of my body. I mean, I was asleep, but I was out of my body and I would be walking around my house and I knew everything that was going on. And, you know, I would be like, oh, that's weird. Like, why is my grandma here? And it, it didn't really make sense to me as to why my grandma was there because my grandma was in California. This is before she passed away. And then I, or I would see my mom and I mean, it looked like my mom, but wouldn't look like my mom. And that was kind of the telltale sign is I was like, you look like them, but I've you heard don't. that. Well, I've you, heard that. Yeah. that. There's just a subtle, they just can't get it right. Wasn't it? There was yeah. a, Almost a right. pinky finger that was a different size or something really. Yeah. So that was with my grandma. She went to hug me and I noticed her hand was kind of deformed. Um, that creeps me out. Yeah, and then my mom got this sort of, like, face that was, like, she looked normal, but she was coming at me really creepy, and so then um, I, you know, was kind of, like, back to myself up, and I could feel myself hit the, the dresser, and I was still asleep, and then she just, like, got in my face, and her smile just turned into this creepy, like, clown. Like, it was smile. too and long. It, yeah, it was just really, it was creepy. It, I would never sleep again. That'd be it. Yeah. But I, I mean, I had on a CPAP. I was under some crazy drugs. And I mean, I was crying and screaming and my parents would like, come in. It got to the point, you know, here I was 33, 34. My mom was sleeping with me. Now my mom is, you know, you got, I think, did you get to meet her? She was there Saturday. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I did meet your mom. She's a cutie, but she's, she's so well. cute. She, she doesn't like to talk about it as much. But she would be sleeping with me in my room, and she's like, you know, I kind of was debating whether or not to tell you this, but she goes, I'm, I'm hearing the music too. And I was like, okay, well, now it's not just me. <laughs> now it's a little bit more serious. There's something crazy going on. And I think it was kind of like in those moments where I realized it, that I really, you know, I mean, I, I was one of those You are I, you know, literally at your most vulnerable after this surgery. Yes. Like physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So um, I would hear scratching and snarling and stuff into the house would be dead asleep. Um, just that kind of stuff. So it got really crazy. And I think it was at that point where I just started, like I said, I, I'm a church goer. I don't, I was in a place where I wasn't going to church. I had just moved here. I hadn't found a church I liked. Um, but back home, I was a Southern Baptist girl. Uh, so I, I mean, we Baptists, I will say that, you know, we know our Bibles, we read our Bibles, we study them a lot. I just got done with Catholic RCIA class and they were kind of a little bit surprised by how much of the Bible I actually knew. And they were like, why are you actually in the adult RCIA? You know, like we need to just get you where you can be, have your first communion <laughs> over with. So I just did that. Um, cause I just wasn't finding a church here I liked, but it's just really interesting that, uh, you know, I have my Bible there, so I was able to just pull it out and I knew where to go and to do things and to pray and to ask the Holy Spirit to come and help me. And I, then I had a really weird experience where in a dream, I 
stood up and I said, you're not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to be afraid of you. You have no power here. This is not your world. This is my body. It's not yours. Um, and that's when the only thing I can say is like the Holy Spirit kind of came in. And then I was inside my lucid dream. I was removed from my body. So I'm now watching my body inside a lucid dream. And that's crazy enough in itself. And the Holy Spirit took over and it started telling these things like you have no power. You, you know, like tell me your name, you're, you know, you're going to go back to where you came from. Did and you then, hear you know, the name? name Jesus. Huh? Did you hear the name? I didn't. Um, that was between them, but I mean, it was just like a really weird, I don't know. It wasn't my voice and it wasn't me talking.